$261 million pump station commissioned at Cozier, Region 2. The Ministry of Agriculture has officially commissioned a $261 million pump station in Cozier, Lower Pomeroon, Region 2, aimed at improving drainage and irrigation systems for hundreds of farmers in the area. The project, which involved the rehabilitation of the existing structure and installation of an additional pump, benefits approximately 5,000 acres of cash crop lands. The newly installed 100 cubic feet per second mechanical drainage pump will divert water previously flowing from Cozier into the Pomeroon River, significantly reducing flood risks. Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa, who attended the commissioning, highlighted key upgrades made to the facility, including the replacement of wooden sluice doors with stainless steel ones. He noted that prior to the rehabilitation, only one pump was operational at the station. To further enhance the pump station's efficiency, the surrounding canals will also be dredged and rehabilitated. This is part of a broader effort to strengthen the region's agricultural infrastructure. Minister Mustafa also announced that the government is constructing two additional pump stations on the Essequibo coast. The station at Plantation Andrews is set to be commissioned soon, while construction at Charity has been temporarily paused to address issues with the initial design. In the Pomeroon area, the government has already provided four excavators and a pontoon to assist farmers with drainage and land maintenance projects. These efforts are benefiting over 500 farmers, demonstrating the administration's commitment to improving agriculture in the region. We are seeing investment in the Pomeroon for the first time in history. Four excavators and two pontoons are being made available to help farmers as we prioritize their needs, said Minister Mustafa. He contrasted the current administration's commitment to agriculture with the previous government's neglect of the sector between 2015 and 2020. Minister Mustafa also outlined the government's broader investments in agriculture, which have led to increased rice production in Region 2. In fact, a record-breaking 36,027 acres of rice land have been cultivated on the Essequibo coast for the current rice crop. The Guyana Rice Development Board, GRDB, reported that over 360,000 metric tons of rice were produced during the first quarter of this year, with a target of 710,000 metric tons set for 2024. Minister Mustafa is confident this goal will be surpassed due to the government's continued investments in agriculture. By the end of 2024, nearly $4 billion will have been invested in various agricultural projects across Region 2, including new pump stations, agro-processing facilities, and hydroponic farms. These projects align with the Regional 25 by 2025 foot initiative to reduce food imports by 25% by 2025. The commissioning ceremony was attended by Director General of the Ministry of Agriculture, Madanlal Ramraj, Regional Chairman, Vilma Da Silva, Chairman of the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, Lionel Wordsworth, CEO of the Guyana Livestock Development Authority, Dr. Dwight Walrond, and other regional officials and heads of agencies.